one we also have the uh the final fantasy 7 remake power wash simulator crossover uh which is canon i did I, you know i've seen is it canon apparently this thing is pa- canon i don't know who said it was canon so, uh, let's see who said it was canon uh let's see here this is the special midgard pack which i know that you've played and uh i you know i watched maximilian dude play it as well but it has iconic locations you can clean the seventh heaven bar you can clean uh What's the uh the scorpion tank? You can clean that. I saw you cleaning like a model of Midgar and the museum, like the Shinra Museum. You can clean up like some of the the bikes and yeah. the car that you've seen there. Which honestly, for me, as someone who's just looking at it, I'm like, this is kind of maybe the first time I've ever seen these models up close. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like yeah. power wash simulator breaks yeah. down the parts. So like you can actually see like this is the front flap. This is back flap b yeah connected to whatever you're like oh i didn't even know they had names i'm gonna tell you that right now <laughs> i thought it was just scorpion tank that's it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah um but yeah I, I, what's your thoughts on it so far i mean it's did you finish super it or? fun okay yeah it's super fun honestly because this is the second collab dlc they've had so the first one was tomb raider and i did that because i just like power wash but mm-hmm. like as someone who's never played Tomb Raider before, I was kind of just like, oh, I guess this is cool. I think these are things from like the previous games or whatever. And I assume they are. But as someone who actually has played FF7, both the OG and the remake, uh, this is way cooler to me because like you said, like I got to see the Scorpion Sentinel up close and have it not attack me. Um, I got to see like, I guess all the different parts that it's made up. I got to see the the Binger model because you actually see the Binger model in in the game uh, when you sneak into Shinra Tower, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it's on one of the floors, and it's like here's here's Binger, and you're like, oh, I guess it's kind of cool, uh, but now you're like watching it, now you're like standing on it, <laughs> and you're like really looking at it, and I'm like, that's pretty, that's that's cool, uh, and the the environments, I I don't know if they're lifted straight from remake, but at the very least they're recreated very very well. Mm-hmm. So it's nice to be like, oh, this is Midgar, this is Shinra building, and this is like the museum area, but I'm not getting attacked. You know what I mean? Like that's a that's a good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're not getting attacked, or you can you can take a take a little bit of time to enjoy it. Well, yeah, you got to like chill out and look at it. So it's been pretty cool. Uh, and you get like messages from the people that you're cleaning for. So you get in the first one, you're cleaning the Hardy Daytona, like the bike, the the motorbike, and the hauler like the, the weird ass reverse tricycle truck uh-huh. and that job is commissioned to you by reeve the member of the turks who spoiler alert uh is controlling kate seath uh but yeah he's like messaging you on your phone he's like this is the hardy daytona it's a dual overhead cam engine and it goes at this speed i'm like i had no idea but that's really cool to find out i guess yeah uh and then you'll get like messages from high digger and he's just like this is the Scorpion Sentinel. It's the tits tank. That's the best tank ever. And I guess it will be for a moment until Cloud destroys it. But like, yeah. Bro, every every know. every place I go in this stream, I'm trying to find like the stuff dirty. Every everything is so clean because you're so efficient at it. At this I'm point, so I, fast. Yeah, you're so fast and efficient. Like Maximilian, dude, was having such a hard time. He was freaking yeah. Apparently, out he was I just heard. Like, I- why would they even put this feature where i can see how dirty it is come on i cleaned here already you know and i'm just like oh my i heard I, I heard he was having a difficult time and apparently he had to like get people to help him or something like that yeah he, so he did the he did the museum and then he did the uh the scorpion the bar. tank yeah yeah when he got to the bar he he just saw it completely covered and, and he, he was said, like nope he said nope nope uh mods hey who who wants to come in here and do this <laughs> Nico, that's, you so, coming in. that's that's hilarious uh i did the uh, seven heaven bar uh, last stream i was playing oh, i finished i did it last week like last wednesday and i finished on thursday uh yeah it took me like two and some hours but that's typical for power wash job it's, it's and, crazy uh, it's, i don't know yeah you, i mean you, i think in the stream that you're scrubbing through right now yeah I'm, the bar is basically where i finish that stream it's it's literally every single surface like every single surface like they're not messing around dude like every single possible surface I'm wondering is dirty what happened what what yeah for some what reason. darkness is this like Kingdom so Wars the story is, the story is the reason the, the reason why the bar got dirty is uh uh who's the creepy guy from the the uh the wall market the the, the guy who tries to sexually assault cloud 
What's his name? Oh gosh, not not Don Canelio, but who? Yeah, Don. Yeah, that's the, oh, okay, the okay. Or Don, whatever the fuck. Anyways, his goons, his goons. Basically, the story is that his goons come to this to the bar, and they cause a mess and they they dirty the place up. That's is, what that's this, what Tifa tells you. That's what Tifa tells <laughs> that's you. That's what Tifa tells you. Okay. And that's then you her. show up, you show up, and it's like completely dirty. And you're like, all right, I don't really believe you, Tifa. This is boss. This is humanly impossible. Like no one can do this. Oh, but that's it? a story. Yeah. It just looks like I said, because like you you know the technique, which is like obviously I think to uh to kind of z- I jiggle my mouth like yeah, rah- from like <laughs> far away instead of like going straight up close to it and like okay we're getting this. But you yeah. can see like on the screen like there you know you could see the menu. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I love that part. I was like, this is the venue. <laughs> I like read it out. Yeah. But it, it I mean, that, but that's the cool thing about it is like the menu. You, you know, I think Cloud's Buster Sword is over there. Barrett's uh, yeah, yeah, his arm. Yeah. And then, you know, for the for the Scorpion tank, I, I, what I thought was funny was like when it sometimes when you're trying to clean under under its arm, it'll just like lift up for you. <laughs> like Oh, yeah. Like yeah. it just knows it was kind of like some weird, cute thing, I thought. But. Yeah, I, I mean, I felt like they did a good job on this DLC. I don't know how it compared to the uh, the Laura Croft one, but for anyone who's wondering, in Japan, and I don't know about abroad, but the Power Watch Simulator is published by Square. No, it is Square. All around the world, it's Square. All around the yeah. world? Okay, okay. Yeah. So, um, I'm. this is... I wonder how much money they're making off this thing. It's so bizarre, too, because I'll be like, this is the weirdest Square Enix game ever, but it's the one that I put so many hours in. Like, I... I played so many Power Wash Simulator. How many hours? Let me check Steam right now. I have ninety three point four hours in Power Wash. If you were just kind of like recommending anything, like at least like maybe a couple techniques or something to people who might give this a shot, because uh, I believe the DLC is free, correct? It is free. Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what would you recommend? Just like a quick tip or something to some people. Definitely. So the game is a system where once you get to uh, like ninety eight percent of a surface cleaned. Mm-hmm. It'll just ding. It'll give you that surface immediately. It'll just auto complete for you. Okay. So like, if you are cleaning like a surface and it's not giving you that ding, and you're convinced it's mostly clean, and you're like, "What's the deal? What's the problem?" And you're hitting like the highlight dirt thing, and you're trying to sc- scrub off like the tiniest specks of dirt. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't do that. It's actually a waste of time. What probably has happened actually is that you've just missed. Uh, section like you change your angle uh change your point of view and you probably just missed like a, a little bit of dirt somewhere like hidden underneath the pipe or whatever and then once you clear that it'll give you that surface so definitely like the game is all about uh sight lines ironically it's kind of like playing siege <laughs> it's like <laughs> yeah it's it's the game is all about like here's all the dirt you can see from this point of view and it looks very, very clean from where you're standing, but strafe to the right a little bit, and you'll see that you have a lot more dirt to clean because it was all hidden from like from that particular uh, sightline, I guess. So it's all about sightlines. So just shift your position a lot. Oh no, uh, that's good advice. Uh, it sounds so serious for a cleaning game, but yeah. Well, no, no, I mean, I, yeah. that, that's exactly what was happening to Max. Is he was he was cleaning underneath the uh, the car or whatever, and he's just like, it's still not clean. But you know, he would look a little bit either directly above it or like underneath it kind of thing and it's like oh that you know i need to clean like right there so that's yeah. great advice um perfect perfection advice yeah right ask there. someone who's put like a hundred hours in the power <laughs> i can't stop playing it's so fun honestly uh i don't know if i told this to you uh maybe i mentioned it somewhere else but like you know when you stream on twitch Mm-hmm. Uh, you also get the yearly wrap up because if you if you view a lot of streams on Twitch, you get an email at the end of the year. It's like here's your most viewed streams or whatever, right? Right, right. Uh, if you're a streamer yourself, you actually get an email that's like here's your wrap up as a streamer. Mm-hmm. And last year, at the end, like for my wrap up email, yeah, I'm I'm seriously it blew my mind. But I was apparently in the top one percent of Power oh, wow. Wash streamers. Yeah, jeez. I was um, like, did I stream Power Watch that much that I'm now in the top one percent of Power Watch? Am I a Power Watch streamer now? Like, you're a Power Watch <laughs> streamer. You need to you need to find that Power Watch time. Let let everyone know, like, yo, this this is the Power Watch. I streamer. actually, de- I'm not even kidding. I debated like making content on YouTube. <laughs> I'm like playing this game so much. Should I just I make mean, you? Should point, I be a Power Watch streamer? At that point, you can. Uh, when when you when you've played it that much and you are an expert, I consider you an expert at it. You're, should, you're, I, you're, should I make like should I make <laughs> pro tips? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you... 
<laughs> oh man. Well, it's you like, can also here's... like if you don't want to make a full video, just do a short. Yeah, I could. Yeah, it's like, here's what you like... need to know. The guy, here's, here's how I'll be a good power washer. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, the power wash community. Here's my loadout. <laughs> Um, and then uh, moving on, and this is where we're kind of entering like a little bit of the news section here. 